Um, we set a new record for new clients this month and generated 30 orders, which is nearly double from last month. Yeah, we had a new campaign that we were running this um, this week, an ebook that potential clients can download um, within not even a week. Over 60 ebooks have been downloaded, which is great, which is a great result for us. Um, on top of that, I've been starting to reconnect with some older investors that have been interested in Songhead in, in the past, and they're now reaching back out to us, requesting the latest executive summary business plan because they hear good things about Songhead, so they um, they're really in touch with us again, and um, this is something that I'm in the process of preparing right now. So basically, shifting from growth hacking to also now investor relations, um, which Nasi can help with us, um, help us next week with. And um, yeah, get that moving as well. This week we've been focused on generating sales leads. We already had some first meetings here in the region. We expect to have our first clients in Ithaca. For example, on Friday we had a meeting with the Museum of the Earth and we got introduced to the Finger Lakes director, so we plan to expand our sales there. And also have some nice news from our current clients. It's like some more Belgian clients are renewing like the payment packages, so we're quite happy about it. More important, the Ministry of Culture of Spain, they are like uh, signing an agreement with Cloud Guide to digitalize all the museums and cultural sites of the country. And finally, we're finally launching in California since we hired the sales representative last week. This week and last week, we had a few more signups uh, through our website. That's very encouraging. Speaking of our beta users, We've been working very closely with a few uh, beta users that we have uh, signed up and they've given us immensely helpful feedback and found some really critical bugs that we have since fixed and we're getting ready to release a new version of the app and the backend um, and our SDK tonight. So uh, please download the latest version and try it out. Um, and we're, like, uh, we're also trying to grow our beta user base and so we've, we've been trying a few different things. We've tried uh, switching up our website a little bit, we've been trying uh, Facebook ad campaigns, uh, we're looking into running a LinkedIn uh, campaign as well. Um, we've not been very successful with the Facebook ad campaign so we're thinking of other ways we can we can try to, to get more beta users. Uh, one of them might be trying different landing pages so we're looking more into how to do that next week. Uh, speaking of beta users, we're still looking for as many users as we can. Uh, go to www.appviews.com and sign up. We would love to work with more beta users. Park Me really hit the pavement this week and we went downtown to speak with parking lot owners and garage owners to get their feedback and find out the true features that they really want. On top of that, we coordinated with a couple of lots downstate and they're going to be signing up with us soon. We've also updated our website, so you can go on ahead and check www.parqmi.com to sign up for our newsletters or sign up for our beta testing. In addition, we've also released our Facebook advertisement, so you might see us pop up on your newsfeed. Another exciting update is we've hired a new developer. Um, he should be with us shortly to help us build out our web platform. Um, we're very excited to have him on board, and he should be a great help to our team. Hi, we've had a great week on Luxroot with LinkedIn. We are reaching out to people all throughout the world. I've had jewelry designers calling me from Italy and wanting to have meetings with me. We also have uh, a gentleman who just got his MBA in Switzerland. And last year he worked with Luxury Brands International. He wants to work with us at Luxroot and he brings 25,000 leads with him. So we're happy about that. Zoe? And following up on an update from our marketing campaigns and web development, we ran two campaigns last week and we received an overwhelming amount of website traffic. We are going through that data right now and looking to optimize those ads for this week. And uh, we're going to be integrating our landing pages right into the website as well. So we know we have a market now and we're more clearly defining our efforts in reaching that market. So.